Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a Let's Play for Fallout 3. So, at the end of the last uh, episode, Fallout crashed again. Um, so, I had to play through the rest of this uh, satellite area, um, just to get back to where I was. Um, at least I think I had been, I was almost out of here. Maybe I wasn't. But, the game crashed. I don't feel too bad about, uh, about heading out. But I am almost full of stuff, so I'm going to swing back down to, uh, I guess, to Rivet City to sell all this stuff. And then I will continue. Ah, oh, looks like I have again arrived in the evening. And yes, I know that probably is a little bit silly for me to even be showing boring bits like this, but... I don't really want to go too long without having stuff on video, just so that you can get a decent feel for if you were to play the game, what would it be like? So, we're gonna head down. Hello. I decided to check out the Okay, so let's get rid of the machine gun, the assault rifle, Chinese assault rifle, combat shotgun. Uh, don't need the laser pistol. Probably still will be carrying way too much at the end of this. I'm not actually using the silent stuff. Mm, looks like he's almost out of buying power. Yeah. Well, that'll Thanks. do. Thanks. And there's nothing that he can repair I that I really, really need hope to you're not thinking of breaking into there. Nope, not really. And I have some enclave armor, so we're gonna swing over to... Ford Independence and trade that in for grenades. Well, please don't tell me you guys are about to do some combat and stuff. Nope, guess not. Good. You're not involved? Always good to see you. Um. Well, I'll be. D this is some pretty heavy. <laughs> Can't stand this. That should do. So now we should have like maybe 140 pounds on us. 134, that's about right. So we have a decent range of weapons here. Let's save and then we're gonna head back out there. Again, if you're playing these old games, it makes sense to save early and often because you, you will need to uh, your game will crash every so often. Okay, so we have two unexplored areas. And one area that looks like it's not on the map. I'm not sure what's straight ahead. But let's hop down to this shack and see if there's anything interesting in there. I'm pretty sure there's a person in there. I think. Or there's a, just a person, multiple people nearby. Are these... Cast him said you're clear. Yeah, outcast members. Okay. Neat. This is just a workshop. Uh, schematics for a weapon. Okay, nice. But nothing more exciting than that. So, ahead over here we have... Ooh, that looks like a Yagwai. But they're off to fight something else. So let's get down. Let's see if we can wipe them out from over here. Yeah. Groovy. Trying to bring the word groovy back into regular discourse. Oh, could it just be this little junk area? Might be. Yeah, probably. Oh, bathtub. Maybe not. Oh. Yeah, a bug. Oh, look like there are two. Ooh, there's a bunch of things. Oh, more rad scorpions. I'm just not interested in fighting those guys. Let dog meat take care of him. So it looks like we're heading much further than I, I thought we would uh, be heading. Hmm. Oh, something going on over here. Oh. Stupid scorpions. Uh-oh. 
Oh, won't they? That's good. I was hoping that the, uh... hoping for a little bit more of an exciting multi-way battle where I can sit back and just attack whoever survives, but I guess not. And this is also much further south. Than oh, what is that? That is... Oh. I got the centaur. Did not hit that, uh, that mutant. It's nice when I can take care of people before their problems. make him a little bit less dangerous for a little bit. Snore it out of the way from here. Just in general in Fallout, if somebody's giving you a lot of trouble, shoot their weapon arm. And it'll give you a little bit of a break while they uh, change their grip on their weapon. Okay, so there is somebody over there. Almost got him. And got him. if the uh, giants I'm sorry if the super mutants if they use uh, cars as beds they are kind of big and I'm not sure what what else would make sense to use as beds for them oh hello get up I'm I'm here I managed to hide You'd know best, wouldn't you? Yep. So hopefully you're not going to get brutally killed running off. Uh, yeah, try not to get brutally killed. Now well, let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Nope. Or at least no foes in here. Which is good. Again, there's that mystery of exactly how mechanically apt are the uh, super mutants. Can they work locks? Take a quick nap to recover my health. Let's head outside and actually should probably pop in here too. Apparently, uh, super, super mutants are fans of uh, Sousa. It's good to know. Reminds one of the. Uh, Part in Teenage Mutant, it, uh, I'm sorry, in uh, Super Mario Brothers, the movie, where, uh, where Mario and Luigi escape a tight situation in an elevator by getting the uh, the uh, Goombas to dance. Or Koopas? 
troopers. It might be Koopa troopers. Uh, well, they probably can work radios. Hmm. Oh, and south of here, there's a little bit more going on. So let's see. Just keep heading this way. At some point, we'll want to pop all the way back up to that satellite area. Ufos. Getting kind of close to one of them at least. Fortunately, I'm up on a hill. Ah, oh, just more of those guys, man. Stupid things. And they'll probably be coming up on me soon. Yep. So I'll take this chance to run. Don't want to get jammed up against that. Okay. Down Devil's Crossing. Okay. Fortunately, although y you can hear those guys skittering uh, after me, but they're not really able to jump to any sig significant uh, degree. Wow. So this is an area where seem to be all sorts of Oh, is that another? Yes, another rad scorpion. They're just all over the place. Yeah, they're not good jumpers. Okay, so there are things to the north. Okay, there's a drive-in. Up on here, that should at least give me a little bit of a break, but I think they're going to be hitting me from behind soon. Maybe not, though. Because there is the, the niceness that they're not good at jumping down or up. They're just sucky jumpers. Though I think they can otherwise run faster than, than people can. Okay, what is over here? Is it more? That's a fly. Oh, and there is a person or something over there. Oh, oh stop doing that, little fucker. Okay. about the same amount of time to uh, to reload our weapons. Not sure where dog meat is. Okay. I'm just gonna take care of that. Because I do not want to be nearby. Oh, that's pretty. Whoop. Yeah, all sorts of uh, landmarks around here to worry about. Roosevelt Academy. Interesting. I wonder if I've ever been inside here. Okay, let's see. Actually, let's give him... Frag grenade. Might be a little bit more fun. Away! Yeah, not a successful there, but I at least got him some decent damage. athletic, um, if one can be athletic in the way that one dies. Arts and... Art, uh, okay, a lot of foes around here. 
Gotta be careful. Hmm. Not sure how many of them are likely to be uh, super mutants, though. Probably a lot of insects. So that guy that you can hear in the backgrounds on the radios I keep turning off. Uh oh. That's um that's the president of the enclave. Dog meat, really, do you have to do that? this entirely Pair that up, but yeah, it's definitely uh, oh, dog meat. Not looking good, little dude. Well, okay, let's just pop upstairs, see if we can finish the job because I'm sure. Okay, don't see anything. Oh, there's a third floor. Creeping down the stairs over there? Maybe not. No, I guess not. So that's President Eden of the Enclave. He's kind of... Why is this not hurting him? That should be hurt. Really should be g getting them some damage. Shut the fuck up. I guess there are some interesting ethical questions in that what do you do if somebody is completely innocently doing something which is deeply threatening your uh, your safety? Like, in a situation like this, if Dogmeat were a real dog and he would not shut the, uh, the hell up, would you, uh, are there situations where you would potentially put him in danger just to, just to get him to quiet down? The answer, I think, is probably yes, but m you would probably try to avoid the situation where you would need to do that. But I, I guess that, again, might depend a little bit on your f philosophy of self-defense. That I, I'm comfortable with the idea that self-defense doesn't necessarily only apply when someone's attacking you. It, it could apply just when you're in danger. 
as part of a generalized idea that you do what you have to. Game's over. What the? No! Don't don't do that. What a stupid thing to do. I wish that there were a button just to say never, ever, ever sit down. Okay. Pet! And actually it's interesting that in modern life, a lot of moral questions just pretty much never uh, show up because we, we have organized our society to the point where the types of contention that lead to uh He's really limping around. And dog meat took care of him, I think. Okay, so I've definitely used a lot of my frag grenades just now, but still have a ways to go. Ooh, that looks like a trap. Is that a trap? No. Okay. I thought that was a trap. Hmm. So this is the second floor, I think. Or is it the first floor? Huh. And that generator, or whatever it is, is making some noise. There's a door to... Oh, this is the first floor. I can taste your fear. Okay, where are you? Oh, they're fighting directly above me. Interesting. And here's a little private staircase. I wonder if this was an area where people, like, gave speeches um, before the war. I mean, presumably, these areas are modeled after real locations, or at least I would guess they are. Hmm. It's really weird having a, a small-scale like, uh, city here. This would be good for plays, though. I think there were, were stairs going down somewhere around here, too. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Where were those stairs going down? Mm. Uh-oh. Progress. Generally. Yeah, but there there were some stairs heading downwards somewhere around here. I would like to find them. Hmm. Maybe it was behind this stage area. Okay, so I want to be heading to to the right. I think. Is this a hallway? Yes, it is. There's another that's going down. That's not going down. That's going up. This is going down. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've been down here. Evax and maintenance tunnel. Okay. Whoa! Okay. 
this should be interesting. Okay, but we're probably gonna need to help out a little bit here. Okay, and there are some stairs heading further down over there. Use a laser rifle for now. Okay, further down over there. Further down over there. Oh, are these really little ammo boxes? Kind of cute. one wonder whether all this stuff was still around when there were still students down here or not. Okay, I guess I'll bite. Time to go down. I am seeing foes oh, behind these areas. Let's see what's in here. It's a locked door. I'm gonna guess that there are just bugs back here. Oh, well, that was not really what I meant, but like this is a more interesting uh, than I thought it would be. I was not expecting these broad, like, sewer tunnels here. Hmm. Okay. Radiated water. A large door. Interesting. Super, super irradiated stuff in there. Well, I'll use some rat away. If only radiation were that simple. Rat X and rat away, and all your problems solved. Okay, more stairs up. Nice thing about laser rifles, they're durable. Okay, and what is back here? Another locked door. Oh, I think that might be an answer to our question. Because this is a locked door with obvious super mutants present and a captive. I'm... I'm a Here, I'm... Okay, well, I hope you're gonna escape using the same way that is already cleared. It would have been smart for you to stick with me, at least until we're out of here, but... On the other hand, I suppose I am kind of hunting... ...my foes here, so maybe not, but... Asking me for an escort probably would have been smart. Okay, so... I don't know if we're in the same building or not. Let's see... Oh, probably not. Because... This doesn't look like a cleared building. Okay, now dog meat. I'll tell you preemptively. Shut the hell up. Uh-oh. Oh! 
Hug me. Really, really. Don't do don't. Now try and hide from that. Hurry up and die. I'm hungry. <laughs> Wait, where are you? Are you upstairs? What a stupid dog. Guess so. We're a little bit less combat happy. Ooh, flammable. Well, let's Whoa! A little bit more flammable than I thought it was going to be. Okay, nothing over here, nothing over here. Disgusting sound. Okay. Uh, nope, not anything there. Oh. Wondering who was that? Oh, 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 oh. How do you? I'll eat your flesh and break your... So, damaging his head limits his ability to aim, which is kind of handy. Game's pretty good at that, so if you aim at a particular body point and manage to do it enough damage, then your foes will become suitably crippled. Give him some nice confusion. We'll let him uh, enjoy having been attacked. I'm left with no good target, and we'll see if we can find another way up. Whoa! No more games. No more die. Time for games. a little bit surreal to have uh, have that guy babbling. Oh, there's a terminal that is, appears to be still working. Oh, no. That looks like a 
grenade. Yeah, booby trap terminals, they are pretty irritating. Okay, how can I get upstairs? Is this, are these, no, that's stairs down. I want stairs up. There's gotta be stairs, there have got to be stairs up somewhere around here. Not there. here. Maybe get through this door. Oh, well, hmm. Shit. I actually saved just in case. Put the weapon away. And, uh, oh, yeah, dog meat. You're just gonna magically walk to where I want to be. Well, let's see. Yes, I can make it by. Sweet. Definitely not the easiest place to reach. over here. Is this? Yes, it is operable. But there's nothing behind it except a locked cabinet. And nothing particularly good, or nothing particularly worth all that effort. Well, actually, there's not much left of interest, so let's drop down. And can I safely drop down? Uh, no, that's two flights. Two flights is probably just a little bit beyond what I would feel. Okay, no. Except this is the wrong way. I think this is the right way. Okay, one flight is about right. I think in real life you would probably d likely damage your knees trying to hop down one flight of stairs like that. Okay. Ugh. And a protectron. Interesting. No good way to activate it. At least not immediately apparent. Let's see. Appears to be an office area. An inoperable computer. And why hello there. seen this in particular before. Okay, so what else is there here? Well this probably leads outside. something over here. What is it? Um. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting, although I, there doesn't seem to be anything super important here. And there are still some things to see that are south. Let's save again, just in case. Check, check my time. about 15 minutes left. At least if I want to keep this to be an hour, which it doesn't have to be. I think on YouTube your videos can safely go up to two hours, but I would like to keep it to about an hour, generally. N unless we're doing something really interesting. What is down there? Oh! Raiders. Oh, I suppose if this is an electric place, 
These guys could be Raiders of the Lost Ark. Get it? Okay, that's terrible. Actually, that's really terrible. I could say is that with that joke I was going off on on an arc tangent. Yeah. What is going on over there? It's exciting, whatever it is. Oh, okay, robots fighting Yagwai. And a little hut. Oh. Okay, that's probably an enclave robot, I would guess. Interesting here. Get our gun back out and let's see who won the battle. Okay. Oh! Did not see that you were still. Okay. Uh oh. A mercenary. A lot of wastelanders, raider. Oh, so this probably was a three-way fight at some point. Okay. Oh, did I guess these guys did annihilate, uh, annihilate each other? More stuff for me. And I wonder what this is up ahead. Well, uh, except this stuff doesn't seem to be what the uh, marker is for. So, we'll take a quick hop across. Uh-oh. Are these guys all hostile? These guys are all hostile. Why are they hostile? Is about to get kind of exciting. That dog meat. Oh! Uh oh. Shit. Oh, are those. Those still might explode. No, I guess they're probably done. I'm not sure why those guys were hostile, but. I don't want any more surprises with these things blowing up near enough to injure me. Oh. Is that one still... Okay, maybe that one... Okay, and now we're going to have to repair down. Okay, assault rifles. Assault rifles, laser rifles, and I guess that's it. That was pretty productive. So this just appears to be a wastelander settlement that for some reason was hostile enough to me to immediately start firing at me on sight. Ah, another laser rifle. Don't mind if I do. So at some point... In Presumably all of the old weapons and, and armor are going to be uh, salvaged. 
And, uh, one hopes that civilization will be ready to pick back up again. Though admittedly, given how few people exist in the world at this time, maybe it's more likely that things will just have rusted to the point where it'll be harder to scavenge uh, useful stuff. Okay, so the next target... Oh! goals. One, keep your allies from dying, and do get enough, uh, two, get enough experience so that uh, your allies' uh, activities still, uh, or get enough hits in so that your allies' kills will count at least partly for, uh, towards your experience. Now we're just heading west. Yeah, so at some point I, I will have to head back north to see, uh, oh, that's an iBot. Okay. National campus round. Um, not all that important. Oh, and there are some foes up ahead. Uh, super mutants? Probably super mutants. Keep moving. I think I did see them though. Oh, three of them. Oh, that's. I don't really like the. Oh. Okay, well. Hmm. More signs of three way battles in this case. Yeah, super mutants and raiders. Oh, hey, frag grenade. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Okay, some rounds, some ammo. I hope that this thing isn't flammable. It might be. Oh! Okay, yeah. Somebody has a rocket launcher. Yeah, super mutants are dumb enough that they will use missile launchers in close combat, apparently. Which is bloody stupid, but what can you do? Okay, southwest and northwest have targets. Oh, and I should reload with this, even if I'm not going to use it. Southwest, west, and northwest. Oh, shit. Oh, and there's another super mutant. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer before... Okay, now we're going to duck. Take them out from here. Um. Oh, that's oh, these guys are like patrolling this road or something. ammo. Interesting. I did not think that I would have to worry about th that, but on the other hand, I've not really been col collecting a lot of ammo for this weapon type. Okay, what is over here? Here's to be...
Well, this is a little lamplight. So this is an area where we're going to be exploring a little bit later uh, in the game as part of a quest. Okay. But we don't have an urgent need to be up uh, around here right now. Really any need at all. Ooh, but there is ammo. Always a welcome addition to my family of fun. What is going on over there? I think I saw something. Is that, a, that might be a Brahmin. Which is the name for this game's mutated versions of cows. Oh. Okay, definitely a Brahmin. So the super mutants were killing Brahmin. I'm gonna push up to 96 for these because I might find some skill books. 90 for sneak. Let's push explosives up to 66. And see what our options are. That's useful, but I don't use vats quite often enough. Explorer, it's just a convenience thing. It's uh, underrated, but I think it's kind of neat. Um, this is sometimes useful. Uh, better criticals is kind of nice. Wait, do we have the option to be... Quantum Chemist. Oh, we're not level 22 yet. That's what we would want. I'm pretty sure that we can't keep on increasing our basic stats, so... Um, Demolition Expert is nice. Robotics Expert is really nice. Just for a few areas, but those areas are pretty important, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, I don't need a Super Sledge. There is some kind of a map map area over to the right. Let's go see what it is. And we're gonna save just because it always makes sense to save when you level up in this game. Okay, let's scoot up the mountain. Oh, I think that's probably a, a super mutant up there because this area seems to be chock full of them. No, all these stupid scorpion things. And it apparently its pathfinding algorithm is I think it's a particularly weird route to reach, uh, or to get to me. Um, I'll just head over and get this thing started. Oh, are you going to run away from me? Okay, well that works for me. Well, what is over here? Oh, you're probably getting creeping up on me from behind, like the creepy thing you are. Yaogwai Tunnels. Well, that does not sound like a place I really want to enter. Well, I confess to a certain curiosity. Okay, let's do this. It's probably stupid. What is in the Yaogwai Tunnels? Or probably Yaogwai. Pretty safe bet. Okay, this looks like a human settlement. Probably abandoned. Oh, I can take some money, as useless as it as it probably is at this point. 
Yet seeing signs of Yagwai. Tunnels leading off in both directions. Lots of sign of human habitation. Probably a pretty fair bet that yeah, people came down here trying to survive and they probably were killed by the Yagwai. I just kind of amusing. In universe, there would be no reason for me to know that this place is called Hyogwai Tunnels. It would be a kind of whoa, whoa. Okay, not a good sound. That was not a great thing to see either. I guess it might make sense after the fact to decide to name it Hyogwai uh, Tunnels, if presuming that. I actually am going to explore it enough to find there are lots of Yagwai around. Okay. So the Yagwai ran from left to right, but there still is a forward. There's a bed, there's just... So they probably brought all this stuff down with him, uh, with them to survive down here. doesn't just hop out on top of me and eat me up. Okay. So it's off in that direction. Can't see it. It's scooting to the right somehow. It's not directly in sight. Ah, there it is. Probably made it angry. And that probably made it dead. Wasn't well, that did make it dead, but I decided to mirror the form as a comedic device. Then I decided towards excessive self-awareness as another comedic device. Or expository device at least. Are there any more Yagwai around? I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. I can't jump over that. Guess I can, yeah. So let's stand up and run a little bit. Wait, have I... Is this the, the way... Okay, no, I've missed... Some, I might have missed some exits. Ugh. Gonna have a tough time making it up there. It might be doable. Worth a shot. Can I make it up here? Um, no, not really. Okay, is there another exit to this area? If there is, it's in this direction, but I don't think there is. Okay, so we're just gonna head forward this way. down here. See what can be found around here. Uh-oh. Okay. And there's another Yagwai. Fortunately, he has a head. If something has a head, I can shoot it in the head. multiple Yagwai here. One up and one down. Let's take care of the up one first. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, that's one down. He's 
that the one that was up here? I think it, it, it was. Yeah. Pretty sure that Yago, I don't use ammo. He's not undead, he's unhead. Okay, that's also awful. Nothing over there, nothing over there. There is... Passage continues here. I'm getting down to 60 ammo. I wonder where this goes. Yao Guai Den. Okay, that does not sound friendly. I'm hoping I'm not terribly badly pronouncing Yao Guai. Uh, body parts of humans. Not a great sign. Presumably the Yao Guai are bringing humans down here, though. I mean, actually, the ammo that you have is only part of the story. Because the number before the slash is how much you have currently chambered. The number after the slash is how much you have apart from the stuff that's chambered. So your real ammo is, is the two added together. Okay, so... Oh, there's another one. Should be enough to... Oh yeah, so I guess a raider did make it down here. Okay, maybe that Yagua is going to come after me, but I have already done it enough damage that I'll get credit for it. But this large chamber seems promising. If there's going to be anything exciting, it's probably going to be in there, but let's keep going. This is up here. This is... Oh! That looks like a Yagwai. This might just be the way back up. That's the way back to the tunnels. So I'll leave that alone for now. I'm really gonna getting low on ammo. I'm gonna need to switch soon. And I think in the future I'm gonna have to start buying lots of spare ammo for this weapon if I want to keep on using it, which I probably do. Oh, there's a person in there. Dead person, but... Why den note? Okay, let's see. What what does the note say? Oh. Yeah. So those were the morons that decided to settle in an area named Yagwai Den. They became Yagwai Dinner. Okay, not seeing anything in there. Have I been off in this direction? Probably yes. Unless... Okay, yeah, that's... Initially I thought it was cute that he died in a way that he's standing up, but now it's just kind of creepy and worrisome. Okay, so I guess there really isn't anything more exciting than that down here. Pretty these guys just didn't didn't manage to exterminate the Yagwai. 
because they've probably lost a lot of, a lot of people. Yeah, they brought Brahmin with them. Their whole settlement brought to nothing because of a few easily exterminable uh, critters. Oh well. This is what's up there. Okay. Oh, that works. works. Another raider with stuff. Grognak the Barbarian. I think that's a melee weapon skill book. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. And we can just drop down here. And I think we're done. Probably was all there really was to do down here. Witness another failed attempt to survive in the wasteland. Um, this, no. this way? Is that ammo? I did already get it. I think I might have already gotten it. No, I didn't. Was that another? More ammo? Is that? Yeah. For Yagwai Den, there really were surprisingly not that many Yagwai here. What is in. Oh, comes in bullets. It is in this direction. Um. turning those in at this point. Okay, got to duck down just in case the assassin squad is waiting outside. But I'm not seeing it. Which is good. Okay, so world map, we have the Yagwai tunnels, we have little lamplight. Um I'm gonna head back up here and find some of the places westwards. Uh oh. Okay. Maybe get southwestwards in this case. I'm going to change weapons because I don't really want to run out of ammo partway through. Hunting rifle is okay for now. Okay, centaur. Save just in case. I don't really like replaying things. Oh, I think that's Raven Rock over there. There's a military base that we will be finding ourselves at later on. If it is Raven Rock, it might not be Raven Rock. Actually, maybe it's not. I'm not sure if I'm far enough west for this to be Raven Rock. Dogmeat is finding some stuff to grumble about. It looks like there are some friendlies up here. Oh, hey there! Hey, I stumbled across. Great. I know. Ain't none of my business. person is running away. Dude, stop, stop, stop. Damn, it's a fight. Hey, what happened? Thanks. Thanks for your help, friend. Okay, so I don't really need any of this stuff. But let's see what you will buy. Do you 
have some stuff that I might like to have. Getting a little bit near the limits of your stuff. Uh, I guess I'll buy a Mentats, why not? Thanks! Okay. I just. Ain't none of my business. So, what are you looking at? There's, a, well, there's some raiders down there, I think. Well, we can see what we can do about it. Enough excitement for one day. Oh, did you hear me coming? Where am I to fight you? Bloody fantastic. Okay. Well, that was fun. I'm just gonna leave those guys be. Pop back up and head inside. If there's anything we need to do in here. Radio, radio tower complex. Well, I prefer radio tower simples, but I'm just full of bad jokes. Um, huh, this really is not even slightly interesting. Like we're trying west by northwest. Uh, there is something up ahead. Oh, it is one of these freaking dudes. Yeah, not interesting. Bye bye. Dog meat, you can take care of it. Looks like a busted church. And there's a oh sniper up there. Get up there. Ow. Yeah, if somebody has a sniper rifle, they can do some pretty good damage. something which actually does some damage.
Oh, that, that works. Oh, is this a nicer sniper rifle? Oh, yeah. Yes, it looks like it. Sweet. Oh, well, it does carry less ammo, though. But. How. how Okay, that just doesn't make sense. How would he manage to get up there? Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. But... Okay, small guns increased by two. But I guess we're... Uh, we're done here. We've found the church. We've looted... Well, looted is the wrong word, but we've taken... Uh, Taking what we needed, and let's head west and see what next awaits us. I imagine probably these towers over here are what really awaits us. Yeah, one of them is pretty nearby, apparently. Okay, up we go. Oh. I think I see... Yes. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the gauss. Pardon me, sir, but you need to be degaussed. He still doesn't quite know where I am. Gotcha. Okay, Death Class Sanctuary. Oh, great. That is exactly... Oh, and there looks to be a sewer entrance over here. Let's see where it takes us. Drainage chamber. Oh, that sounds fun. exciting. Dead bodies are caught. Well, let's take a quick nap, though. Darts are always nice. Mmm, Mentat. Nothing particularly interesting in here. Oh well. But there is suddenly a foe just over here. Ooh! Holy. Okay, where did you. Oh, Enclave. I got a leg up. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know if I'm if I'm actually going to be able to take this. Sixteen pounds to lose. How can I manage that? Oh, 
Oh, actually, I could use buff out, which would get me printed of 40. And now I can actually carry this stuff all the way down to Fort Independence to trade it in. Cool. Okay, I guess it, it would probably cause the outcast to go hostile if I blew up their truck. Not sure though. I am kind of curious. I know that if you were standing close to it though, it's very likely he would become hostile. Always good to see you. Well, I'll be damned. Take some more frag grenades. This is some pretty heavy duty stuff. More right away. Okay, we're gonna save and do this experiment. That probably will cause it to blow up. Let's find out. Oh good, he's walking away. That'll help a little bit. Oh, yeah, he took some damage, I think, but... really need to uh, leave the results of that experiment in place. Okay, so how are we doing on weight here? We have 191 of 220. That's still pretty hefty. So we're going to swing back by uh, Megaton and t uh, sell some of our stuff, get stuff repaired. And I think we're also probably going to end after we do that because this video is over an hour. It's going to take a while to encode already. Okay, so what can we get rid of? Uh, we'll s can we get rid of our nicer laser rifle? I think. Oh no, we already have done so. Let's actually take the old one. Let's just sell this. This launcher is in good condition. The missile launcher, let's repair these things together. We can repair these things together. We can put the launcher away. And okay. Quest item, definitely don't need it. Same thing with that. Okay, looking good. Okay, and we're just gonna head down and talk to Moira? I think that's her name, Moira. Don't mind this. Okay, you can repair my help, my stall timer up a little bit, which is good. Okay, don't need that. More of these. So put us a little bit. Actually, we don't need mentats. Yeah, this should do. Good hunting. 
does this put us at weight wise? We're at 131. Wait, didn't we start have some cigarettes? Oh, hey! To, to sell my yeah, cigarettes. I guess both out is sometimes useful. Good hunting. That should do. So this was um, this was a let's play of Fallout 3, and I'll see you in the next one.